Hey, Steven! Did Greg give you any Mr. Universe merch? Maybe some t-shirts? Oh yeah! I didn't forget about the merch, I just... I never really felt like I could wear it until now. Why not? It's kinda silly, but it felt... sacred. Sacred? They're just old t-shirts. I, I know, I know. But I didn't know they were literally your merch. I thought you were a fan, and I didn't want to mess up collector's items. I would hardly call them collector's items. Mr. Universe faded a long time ago. Crashed and burned like a comet. I'm a nobody nowadays. I still think you're cool. <laughs> well, that's flattering. But you weren't there when my career hit rock bottom. But, Mr. Universe, just Greg is fine, kiddo. Mr. Greg, your career didn't hit rock bottom. You were super famous right up until you suddenly decided to quit. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, about that. It wasn't exactly how the media portrayed it. My manager Marty did quite a bit of clean up. In reality, I had a... Uh, I'd made a few bad decisions, which I hardly even remember. You don't have to tell me about it if it brings up bad memories. I'm just really excited to be taking piano legends from a legend. I was actually going to ask you to sing so I can practice playing along, but um, if that's too much, you don't have to. If it makes you sad about your past and stuff. You worry too much. I don't mind singing. The reason I never sang in front of you is because I thought you'd recognize my voice. I guess I kind of did in the end. <laughs> and because you have a great voice yourself. Hearing you sing those songs really takes me back to the good old days. <laughs> what? No way. I'm serious. You remind me of myself when I was young. Pretty soon I'll be asking for your autograph and you'll be the next Mr... Mr... Say... What is your last name anyway? I just realised I never asked when we met. Pretty irresponsible of me as your landlord. Do you even have one? Rose and the rest of them don't, so I guess you must not either? Oh, no, I... I do have one. I just don't really use it because, uh... It's a long story. But since I know your last name now, it's only fair. It's... Pitryodamus. Huh. What kind of a mouthful, I know. I got teased for it at school. I was named after the area I'd been found in. It was a forest, and apparently a long time ago there were some rare glowing mushrooms that grew there. But then the colonizers that settled it destroyed the ecosystem because they needed the space for... Wait a second! Pit dried on this forest? You don't mean the one in Washington State? Hmm? Yeah, that's the one. Why? Do you know it? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. I, um, spent some time in the area myself after... After making those bad decisions I mentioned earlier. Hmm. I've also done some not great stuff which I don't really remember. But Rose said the bad decisions you make in the past don't define who you are today. I like the Mr. Greg I know now. I don't care about your mistakes. <laughs> You're one heck of a kid. You know that, Stephen? I'm a gem. You sure are. <laughs> huh? S sorry bud. It's okay. It just... it means a lot to me. Thank you. If you ever need anything from this old man, just ask. Alright? I really do mean anything. Anything? Anything. Can Earl and I renovate your van? It really needs a makeover. 